welcome fewer to today's show. As we are all aware, the issue of dating is a thorny issue, and particularly to the young people. And as the name of this show go, youth at the crossroad, many youth are still at the crossroad, not knowing which route to follow when it comes to dating. In this show, we are going to address the issue of dating, and I am sure by the end of this show, someone will have been helped by our able guests who are with us today. As usual, my man, Karuke Gige, your host. And today we have our guests. At the far end, we have Ken, a, uh, a counselor who has joined us today. Ken, how are you? Very well, thank you. Thank you so much. We have Lisa with us. Lisa works with the Mother's Union Department in the Diocese of Kirinyaga and also a trained counselor. Lisa Bari. Hi. Thank you so much. And we have the youth voices with us. Sauti Yawanarika. Abarini. Abarizenu. Mukosawa, eh? Are you still dating? Oh, you are here so that you can know whether you can start dating. Kiyama, you are loving. Are you sure what is dating? Yeah, I'm sure what is dating, but I still have to get more uh -huh. from my mentors. From your mentors. Good. Timon. How is life? Good. Uh -huh. Dating or not dating? Not dating. Not dating. So what's our to the Jua too? How are you, Misek? I'm very fine. Uh -huh. Mambo? Poor Kapsa. Are you dating or not dating? Not dating. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Yes. Um, we have Mudoni with us today. How are you, Mudoni? I'm fine, thank you. Are you dating anybody? Or are you, are you preparing one, or praying that one day you'll be dating somebody? Uh, not dating currently. <laughs> not dating currently. Yes. Ah, yeah, these people are not dating, but I'm sure they may be dating, but they do not know. Mm. Ken, yes. what is dating? Uh, dating is when two people come together uh -huh. uh, in a social setup mm -hmm. to see if they are compatible in the things they believe in. Mm -hmm. Yes. When two people come together? When two people come together. The agenda? Or two parties. With an agenda? Say, with an agenda uh -huh. that is first social. Social agenda? Yes. Okay. Madam Lisa. Anything to add? Uh, thank you. I think uh, how I can define dating is a, re a stage in relationship of a lady and a man uh, where they meet socially in, with an intention of assessing each other for pros uh, assessing each other for suitability of being prospective, maybe intimate friends, mm -hmm. or even with an intention for marriage later. That's what I can say. With an intention of marriage. Yes, with, uh, not all the time. Eh? Not all the time. Yes. Uh, there is a phrase that you used yes. where they are assessing. They are assessing each other, Kukaguana, uh -huh. to look and see, uh -huh. uh, is this lady suitable for me? Uh -huh. Is this guy uh -huh. what I have always dreamt of? Uh -huh. With a prospect. Wanaangalia kama ni prospective, suta. Okay. Mm, nasisa ayote, uh -huh. it's not always that dating leads to marriage. Not all the time. Yes. So what you are saying is that when they are assessed in one another, mm -hmm. maybe, uh, I know we will be talking on uh, proposal in another day, mm -hmm. but has proposal been done when they are dating? No, 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 yeah. no. Uh -huh. At that moment, yeah. they are looking, eh, nile kumuangalia, kumuangalia kusoma. Ku, niku, eh, kuchororora uone. Uh -huh. You even, you haven't seen her or him physically very mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. During, when people, two people are meeting socially, mm -hmm. one of the things, their intentions is to know each other mm -hmm. better, mm -hmm. to assess each other, mm -hmm. depending on what you want about a friendship or a relationship, mm -hmm. and looking at their prospects. Because mm -hmm. a date may start today and end tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And a date may go for even years. A date may go for even years. Mm. You know, you trigger my mind. Because I already have had no, a well-known lady in our in our society, in Kenya today, a media person, I don't want to mention her name, mm -hmm. but she said, my first date was my wedding day. Yeah, that is, uh, that, that is unique. Uh, people, even without dating, people still get married. Mm -hmm. There are arranged marriages for some communities. Mm -hmm. There is this thing that people call uh, love at first sight. Mm -hmm. You see, Jui, maybe that lady would have told us where you meet and... Uh, you, you, then you plan for a marriage. You didn't even sit down to look at each other. Okay. Mm. You people, dating may not lead to marriage. You said you're not dating. And according to the way the dating has been defined, is that once 
Dating comes before even proposals. Are you still not dating? Grace, I'm Modoni. Yes, I'm not dating. To date, I'm not. Aha. Sawa, sawa. These people, let's help one another and help the youth who are us. Let's come back to you, Ken. Yes. You said when dating, the two people come together. What is the importance of dating? The purpose of dating? The purpose of the so called importance of dating is to be able to identify what you can share with your partner or with your friend. I was categorical at first to say when two people come together, because to me, or this is it, that dating does not necessarily mean formation of a couple. It would be establishment of an institution, establishment of a friendship or anything. In this case, we are referring to dating for a relationship. Dating for a relationship uh, will need you to meet these people, which, is not, uh, which does not mean it is arranged. You see, you could meet through a youth fellowship in church. You meet this person and after the fellowship, you share two minutes of your time. The next time you meet, you share another three minutes of your time. And the purpose of that is you really need to know what kind of person uh, Mothoni is. You know, you want to know what kind of person Lisa is at first. And when you grow in that process of, I agree that this person will make a good friend, then at your comfortable time, you'll be able to choose and say, maybe then we could graduate to something else. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Is this an important one, the importance of dating? I feel like as I said, they told, but uh, as I said, when two people, I, I don't think, he said when you meet in church and you have two minutes, I'm not sure that is uh, really dating. Eh? Mm -hmm. Dating is something that is planned. Let's meet somewhere, sit and talk, unless it has changed with their age, because I feel I am not in their age, but uh, as I know dating is something that you plan, let's go. Uh, and when you look at some types of dating, you have dating for fun. You go out for fun, you can go as a group, but there's someone you're going with. You can go for experiment just to adventure a few things. Or you're dating for marriage. I think dating is very important because, as he said, you get to know each other more. And knowing each other is in many forms. One, you assess the temperaments of a person. You assess your compatibility. Because uh, I hear the us or the youngsters calling it chemistry. You want to know, do we have chemistry? Or I just saw her in church and I thought she was beautiful. But when we get together, we don't have anything in common. So you assess the chemistry, you assess the, their spiritual levels, mm -hmm. because maybe she is an atheist, you mm -hmm. didn't know. So I feel dating is very important in general to get to know each other. I want to underline the word knowing each other. Yes. The faith, yes. background, yes. Uh, career, yes. and, all, all, and all those kinds. Yes. You know one another. Mm -hmm. There is also something that you said that sometimes we date for fun. Yes. And you can go in, in a group, yes. and sometimes you can go the two of you. Yes. There is a circular song in Kikuyu where a person laments, Yakomba nilikuita kwa date mkakuja wawiri. You have heard that song? Yes, I think I'm familiar <laughs> with the song. It's a, you're familiar with the song? Yes. The gentleman is mm -hmm. lamenting. Kila wakati ni kipaga date na mbe. Muna kukuna wawiri na nataka ukuja peke yako. It's unfortunate for the singer, eh. if he is the victim in this case. Eh. The reason being, mm -hmm. uh, his intention for the date was totally different from the intention of the lady for the date. Mm -hmm. Maybe the lady wasn't coming with a friend for the reason being, uh, maybe this guy would make something of a partner in a relationship she was taking it like um you're coming in you invited me because you like me and you want to share time with me also it would be that uh culturally women are oh, girls not women uh, i don't know if they are comfortable called girls or ladies let me say ladies uh, culturally ladies would most appreciate if they went with someone for security they call it security Security to mean, uh, I'll go with you just in case. Just in case kuna kitu itafanyika, this person will take shield or they will tell the story. Thank you so much. Maybe let's talk about security. Grace, when uh, you talk of security of ladies, 
Do you need security? It depends. Uh -huh. Yes, it uh -huh. depends with who you're going to meet uh -huh. and where you're going. Uh -huh. And it also depends. Okay, sometimes when somebody is uh, calling you for a date, uh, it depends with the intentions. So sometimes you feel you need security, and that's why you tag a friend along. Yeah. yeah okay, it depends with the reason that why this person is calling in. Yes. And mostly like if you have not known one another for a long yeah. time. And where, and where. And where. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Do you men need security, music? Uh, I can say, for me, men don't need security. We don't know, go for dates with other men. The readies come with other, another ready. Mm -hmm. And that was the, the, the lamentation, mm -hmm. the guy who, who sang the song, Hand. Mm -hmm. Because when I called you, I called you, we discuss issues, mm -hmm. me and you. Mm -hmm. Why engage mm -hmm. at that party? Why you engage at that party? Yeah. You know, you people are continuing to trigger my mind. Because I know of a girl who uh, was called for a date by a gentleman. They went to two. Like in you remember, when they went, you Jamaica on how you move to Ambaya, my kujana is smarter than that. But the girl, then I see it, later I'll drop the girl, took the other one. James, yes. <laughs> I would want, before we delve into that issue, um, I want everyone to understand dating is a process. You need to, the first date, if you don't know each other very much, eh? the singer was right. Maybe the singer felt like we know each other. Then the lady maybe felt like Miss Juyum to Vizuri. It is it's about the length of time you get to know each other. If it's Mkijuana Vizuri, Mudoni, you won't need security. But if you don't know that guy, you will need security. Maybe for that guy who sang, they were at different levels. The guy thinks I know her very girl feels this guy simjui vizuri wacha niende na mtu kitu kikitendeka tukue pamoja or she wants to be maybe she's a christian a born again christian ataki ku kuulizwa na watu ulikuwa umeenda rozwam na mwanamme kufanya nini kwa hivyo let me hide behind someone else the, the, the issues are many nyingi hapo ah as it can is really what is say something <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's that's exciting. Mm. Uh, the one mistake that we make when we we prepare in ourselves for dates mm. is to have a pre-assumption of what we expect after the date. I agree with my colleague when she says that uh, dating is a process. You don't invite me for the first day and you sell you f and you tell me how much you're in love with me and you expect us to start something. I don't know you. You don't know me. So it is you who thinks that the lady is doing wrong to come with another lady to find your space. You could engage both of them together until you realize, is this what I really want? Or when you are inviting the lady for the date, let her know what you expect from the date. When, you do, when she knows what you expect uh -huh. and she respects that, she will not be able to, to disappoint you. Kiamba, uh, yes or no? Once you invite a, a girl for a date, would you like her to come with somebody? No, 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 no. No, no, no. But uh, we will we'll be coming to bat. <laughs> Timon, when you fight a girl for a date, would you like him hard to come with somebody? No. Ugetaka kuja pekeyako. This is indeed a thorny issue. We need to go for a break, and then we'll be coming back, and we'll start from where we have stopped.
Welcome back viewers. We are glad that you are still connected. We are grateful that we are continuing with the talk about dating. Uh, before we go on, we want to remind ourselves that we are at a time that we need to be extra careful. This is a time when we have a pandemic in our country. And therefore, we request you, wherever you are, to continue sanitizing, wash your hand, and follow all the precautions as given by the Ministry of Health. We need one another. Remember, I can get it, you can get it. Before we went on, on break, the question was, can you, when you are going for a date, would you like somebody to, to accompany the friend that you are expecting? And we are with you, Kiama. You are still at the crossroad. And you want to come out of the crossroad. You said no. Yeah. Why no? You know, why not? It's because now when a lady come, let's say they came, the two of them, and then you're on the same table. Of course, somehow there is, is I'm going to be drawn by some, let's say fear of trying to drive a point of what I wanted to say to a specific lady because another one is here. Mm -hmm. But I will give this lady a benefit of something worth. Like if she strategizes that plan of coming with a security, and the plans a very good one, like, let me not, for example, not them coming together, because that will automatically shut a guy. Because it shows that this lady cannot trust me. So you, want, you don't want, want them to come together? Yeah. So but she can come with a friend, Arafu Akai Bari. Yeah, Akai Bari. Lakini ukijua, si utasema you are being in me. You are suspicious, anakuwa na kuwekea mtego pahari. Yeah, anaeza sema lakini, hoja tu nisijue. Yeah. 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 Ah, Timon, yeah. Uge taka akuje. Yeah. Bona. Sometimes some men are shy. So if I wanted to drive a point to the ready, uh -huh. I might get afraid and some ladies are so funny because they come and look at the menu and then start budgeting for something so expensive <laughs> that your pocket cannot afford. The, the so, cost. Yeah, the uh -huh. cost. So uh -huh. when you ca you see them coming, uh -huh. first you will get the fear of wamekuja uh wawili -huh. nikwani me budget yangu na yake. What happens? Uh -huh. Because I'm ready mostly our generation uh -huh. Anajua mwanaume ni anafaa kuprovide. So akikuja hivu ana expect to tabaiya yake na mbaiye. Then they will uh -huh. look at the menu and order for something they have never tested. So uh -huh. what I need is it cheap, cheap. What I need for the class. My hot dog. Yeah. Okay. So there, there comes the problem. Okay. Na kiku inform akoba na tutakuja tukio wawiri? That's okay. That's but okay. But asikuje tukai meza moja. Uh -huh. And as a kuja to excuse, uh -huh. so that we can have the one on one conversation. Uh -huh. Because one thing, I called her ili ni mjue poa. Uh -huh. So, but umungine, tukitaongea umungine anachangia, uh -huh. so itakuwa uncomfortable to uh -huh. the man. Uh -huh. yeah. There is something that Timon said, that the cost. Kwa sabu, wakikuja wawiri, I will bear the cost. Maybe we can, as you address their fear, you can also address the issue of cost. Is there a cost to bear? And who should carry the cost? Uh, yes, there's a cost to bear. And every choice has its consequence, and the consequence might be costly. One, should you not be afraid if they bring a friend? I am addressing a mature person who understands what they want. I'm not addressing someone who they are also trying to find what they want from the lady. If you really know what you want, you should be very happy when they bring their friend. Because with a friend, they might not fake. The one you want to know might not fake who they are. Because in some cases, you can read from the friend if what you're being told is true or false. But now you are afraid that the menu might read higher. That should also excite you at first. When they choose something higher, that alone is enough to know the kind of person you're dealing with. Okay? But again, for you not to be afraid of what is in your pocket, address it before the date. How do you address it before the date? By asking how and where would you want us to meet? When you know how and where, you by that time know what cost implications are there. Is there transport needed? Is there certain menus? Some go to the extent of, if they mention somewhere you don't know, you need to go do your homework to know how is that place and why would they prefer that place? 
That way, you'll be sure. So as if from your side you're not ready for a date to such a location, tell them that I'm sorry we may not be able to meet. Give a reason, but wait. Don't lie. Okay. Thank you so much. Maybe, Madam Risa, as you talk of the cost, you can also touch a bit about the agenda of the dates. Thank you very much, uh, James. Um, in dating, there's something we call rules of dating. And the rules bring about the agenda of the date. I support him. Ken, you're being too theoretical about dating at some point. And you're losing them because you're acting as if we have a cookbook to follow step by step. It's not there. Don't tell them that you must know what you want. Sometimes we don't know what we want. And it's not because we don't want to know. It is because we are caught in this age that I'm twenty-five and I'm supposed to be dating. So I actually don't know. I will learn on the job. So go for that date at a kama ujui. Go and feel that bad that amekuja na mtu na hukua na pesa. But that brings us to the agenda. It brings us to the dates, the rules of a date. Before you start dating, write and talk about the agenda of dating. When we talk to younger people than you out there, wale wakoshule, we tell them, before you go for a date, first discuss where you're going, what you're going to do, how long you're going to be there, tutakula ama tutakula, tukona pesa ngapi ya kuspend, nani analipa, are we there? Yeah, because today there's a confusion of, uh, the, the generation is different. Can you, maybe the Nairobi way of doing things might not be the Kirinyaga way of doing things. Nairobi way, ni people talk, people know, maybe in Nairobi mnajuanganyote kila kitu mtu anataka. But here, that guy who just finished campus, na alienda karatina, in the village, they might not have learned a lot. So, Talk of the, all those agenda. Then, when let it be an MOU, because that's where now the issues mm -hmm. come in. Mm -hmm. Tulienda, akachukua menu, amekuja na mtu apili, hakuwa meniambia na kuja na mtu apili. Everyone should be responsible for their position. Kama nimekuambia ukuja tuende date na tumeyonge, we've talked about it. Let each of us honor. Kama tulisema tutaenda ku kukapa moja tuki, eh? Then he starts asking for a kiss, maybe. And you didn't say it was in the MOU. Unaona utamuambia tuki yanza, atuku sema, kitu kama icho. Is your question answered, James? No, nani anaripa. Mm. You said that. Yes, I nani said. Nani mm. Now the fear of Timon mm. is that commonly men do anaripa. Yes. Sasa hii, nani anaripa? Mm. Can both share the cost? Yes. <laughs> Uh, in our time, and you, karaoke, yes. we are not youth that are coming to Nataka We are youth at heart. We are youth at heart. Ah, yeah. But our generation was different. It was kind of unajua, ni mwanaume amekuita date, na niya akona pesa. And then, as in those days, we had this thing of uh, pe people who are much higher than us called us for dates. Mm -hmm. So he's working, maybe I'm in campus. Mm -hmm. Today, they are both in campus, they don't have money. They are both in wakonyumbani wanatafta kazi, or they are working. Discuss about it. Tell the lady, I will pay for it, and I have this budget. Muende. Ama, and I, you know, I don't know, uh, Ken, my son tells me Nairobi people are different from us. He says, uh, when you go with the ladies in Nairobi, because the boy child has been subdued, kumefika wakati, if you're dating me and I, am, I look like I have money, because today to Nigeria, girl success is applauded and it's there. You just sit and tag along with me. Na lipa kila kitu. Na na kuwitishia taxi. Uh, and this is where I keep asking my son who is in campus. Historia was chana wanatumiwa fea wanakula. Do you know it's about dates? Kariuki mwa iskia? Unatumiwa fea akuja date. Alafu wanakula. Anakula fea. Hata akuja. Hata kama ni date kwa hoteli, wacha nyumbani sasa, unamtumia fea ya taxi, alafu anakula fea. Because you didn't, because now, ya nafikiri ya lazima mwanaume ya tume. There's this other man who has been taught, mimi sina pesa, my girlfriend has money. So he goes and sits there, the bill comes, mnanza kuangaliana, discuss who pays for the, for the, 
for what? Because I was telling uh, James of a wedding I had was cancelled the last minute. Because the lady realized ever since they were dating, she did almost everything. Ikafika wakati wa negotiations, amelipishwa hizi na hizi na wazazi wa msichana, akambia msichana, niambia ni nini unatoa kwa hii 100k. Then the lady cancelled the wedding. And that's where we go wrong. Thank Let's you. hear from Grace. Let's hear from Mudoni. Yes. Do ladies of today pay for bills when they go for dates? Not you, mm -hmm. ladies of today. Uh, yes and no. <laughs> because, let's say if you, invite, if, if you invite me for a date, the first date, I don't know you. I don't know you well. Mm -hmm. Maybe you've not been my friend. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's not let no talk about the first dates. Okay. As you you continue to one know one another, the first, second date, third date, yes, is, they, is, do. they do. Yeah. Uh, they with, without no strain. Yeah. And they don't complain. Yeah. They are complaining, they are there, they are complaining. They do. Let's Would you like to be treated by a lady for a date? To be treated? Mm. <laughs> it is very difficult because first women believe we are the providers <laughs> but she has to do on her own way the way the maybe the neighbor or someone so you want to foot the whole bill bill yeah <laughs> no no that one is you don't want to be treated by for a date by a date, by a girl it's difficult for uh, it's difficult yeah. <laughs> for me it's uh, yeah. it uh -huh. shows how much the person appreciates you uh -huh. because you find even though it's something so true because that is what i know nance hiyo ndio inafanyanga mfikishane badi sasa so we are still at the crossroad god will help us to come out of the crossroad let's talk about the pitfalls now kuna mashimo about iko kwa he dating yes so many of them uh -huh and they are hurting. Most of them have been carried forward to uh, other dates that we have met. And these pitfalls for me come about character. Theory and practical. Theory is you should do what you know, right? Practical is you want to try everything. Uh, one of the pitfalls that we find in dates comes about, one of them I'll pick from the last question that has been asked. Men have a, a very high ego. When you have a very high ego, you will not want to give in, even when it is time to give in. You see, giving in this way, if maybe she is in a position to pay for the bill, and you are not really sure if you would be able to pay, and she offers to pay, you will feel like she's trying to down. Uyo ananiona aje. That's the question. Uyo ananiona aje. Whereas it was easy as, I want to pay. You get after that, you go out wishing that you never met her, even if her intentions were very, very okay. So I think that's one. Very quickly, one of the greatest pitfalls in dating is falling into sin. You go innocently, you had your agenda very well laid, you know each other very well, you know what you want as you put it, Ken, but you end up doing what you never planned to. It is important to remember the date rule number five, involve God in your dates and go to places that are not, that do not lead you to sin. Sin, many times, James, your youth ask me, is it wrong to kiss in a date? And I tell them, the most intimate thing between a man and a woman is kissing. That leads to the sin. So involve God and stick to your plan. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. My director is telling at me that my time is learning. Well, we can continue and continue. But Ken, in your closing remark, just say a word to the youth who is speaking to you. In your closing remark. Thank you. Uh, my encouragement to the young people is this. You don't get to things that you are not able to bear. I repeat, cultivate your desires. Your desires must be within yourself first. Thank you. And you cannot share what you don't have. Thank you. Madam Lisa, your closing remark. We are talking about dating, don't be afraid. The four of them are not dating. Mm. Go out and start dating. Dating starts with attraction. If you are attracted, talk about it. It goes to reality, it goes to commitment. It goes to engagement. 
so date go by the steps ikishia kwa attraction okay start again never be discouraged my youth don't fear dating talk to that girl with one word modani what i'm going to tell her is that in everything you do put god first good thank you mishek my parting shot would be dating is important Mm-hmm. that what I want that we need to date mm-hmm. so that we can access each other thank you so much yeah. my my advice to you young people is to make sure that everything has got its purpose before you start dating find its purpose and what is supposed to be done thank you yeah. for me is put god first in everything thank you put god first in everything that's a good way of it, of adding this show that in whatever we do as you date as you go out just put God first the bible says that the fear of the lord is the beginning of the knowledge and the book of amos chapter 3 and verse 3 two people cannot go unless they agree agree to go for a date together set your agendas and put God first until next week at time like this let us connect god bless you i'm karuki gege